for Sea Arabia this afternoon. And here's the question. Should America make public the 28 secret pages in the 9-11 report? Reportedly, they cover the Saudi role in that attack. There's a broader issue. The role of the Saudis' powerful Wahhabis, who finance many mosques in the United States. Zudi Jassa is with us. Zudi, we're told that Saudi mosques prevent and work against Muslims integrating into American and Western society. Is that true? It's not only true, it's the root cause of the radicalization of Muslims is this ideology from the Saudi regime, their supremacist mandate that there's the land of Islam, their real caliphate, which they run through the OIC, is that the domination of Islamic states and everywhere where there's no Muslim majorities is the land of war. That's the ideology from their textbooks, from their translations of the Quran, from their judiciary, their Sharia law. Women are treated as third class citizens. Minorities can't build churches, they can't have rights. This has been the disease the long embrace of this almost suicidal embrace that we've had with Saudi Arabia has now even become more necessary bizarrely because of our embrace of Iran it's just bizarre that this weird relationship continues all the while Chattanooga San Bernardino Paris uh, Belgium have all been root cause of Salafi jihadism that's exported from the main cancer of Saudi Arabia. Well, Zudi, will President Obama go and lay down the law in Saudi Arabia, or will he do what the Saudis want him to do and not publish the 28 pages? I think we're going to continue to uh, appease them. We're not going to do what we need to do and recognize them as the evil empire of the 21st century. And unfortunately, uh, they, they were even threatening us that they're going to uh, pull out their assets, etc., as if somehow we're the ones who are weak. We are the paper tiger when unfortunately nobody's making them own up to the ideologies that are radicalizing Muslims that many of our reform movement leaders are trying to counter. Meanwhile, they marginalize reformers in the prisons of Saudi Arabia are the real heroes that we've begged President Obama to acknowledge like Rafe Bedoui and so many other heroes. Meanwhile, they execute clerics and behead them like they did earlier this year. All the while, we're going to go there and simply kneel down and embrace them. Zudi Jassa, a welcome guest on the program. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stuart.